This is Pauline. We're going to give Pauline a facelift using FL3's instant facelift gel. If we look at Pauline's face, we'll find that she has wrinkles on her forehead. She has lines between her eyebrows, frown lines if you'd like to call them that. She has wrinkles from the corners of her eyes under her eyes, which I'm touching at this point in time. She has nasolabial folds, which are quite deep, and they're the ones that go from the corner of the nose down to the corner of the mouth. That's a good illustration of the wrinkles on Pauline's forehead there now. You see, I'm concentrating on the nasolabial folds and on those lines on the corner of the mouth. You notice also that Pauline's chin is also quite lined, and as is her top lip. Now when we're applying it, we only use small amounts, a amount of probably about half the size of your little fingernail, and rub that on, on as great an area as possible. But do not rub it in until it's dry. Leave it moist on the skin. It needs to dry on the skin to have the effect that we want. Just swapping sides now. You can see that this is a totally unedited video. There was no trickery, no fancy camera shots. It's just a straight looking at the video and putting on the application. Again, concentrating on the eye area, the cheek, the corners of the mouth. Just rubbing it in down the nasolabial fold. And remember, you can localize the application. So if there's one particular area that you want to um, work on rather than others, then you can just concentrate on that and not put it over the whole face. Again, concentrating on her top lip, which is a problem area for Pauline, and just touching off around the chin. That's pretty much it. We've applied that, so we're about over just over two minutes, two minutes ten into the application. In order to make the serum work best, it is good to apply some cold air so that it dries it quite quickly. And we'll probably put a fan on to Pauline's face in a few minutes or a few seconds. The other alternative, if you don't have a fan handy, is to use a hair dryer with the heat turned off, obviously, so it's blowing cold air. Or you can just use a paper fan and fan onto your face. We seem to have a fair bit of air going here, but that's OK. We'll turn it down a smidgen. Now, if you like to take note of Pauline's face, remember how it was when it started. And if you can't, it doesn't matter, because at the end of the video, we will be showing you a before and after shot. Now, you'll notice that the nasal labio fold on Pauline's right, which is our left, is actually starting to fade now. The one on her left, which is our right, is still there a little bit. But as the video goes, you will notice that these fade considerably. Her, her brow is now looking very, very smooth and tight. The lines between her eyebrows are virtually gone. you notice that her eyebrows have lifted quite considerably to when they first started. Probably, I would say, three to four mil. The lines on the corner of her eyes have disappeared. The lines under her eyes are disappearing. The lines on the corner of her mouth are disappearing. Now, if you apply too much FL3, you'll find that it will leave a little white residue. This is due to the composition of the material. And the, it's a, one of the constituents is a very, very finely ground powder. So don't worry about that. Just get a damp tissue and dab that off and then just reapply. Also, before applying FL3, please make sure that your face is very, very clean, completely clean and free of makeup and oils. After you've applied FL3, don't use moisturizers, but please make up your face in the normal way, but using a mineral-based makeup. I'm just going back to Pauline's face now. You'll see that her nasal labial folds are particularly, the one on her right is gone, the one on the left is also gone. There's just a little bit of a shadow on the, below her nostril on the left-hand side, on her left-hand side, our right. But that's due to the lighting. You see the lighting is coming from Pauline's left. You see the shadow from her nose across the rest of her face. You notice that the lines under her eyes and the lines on the corner of her eyes are totally disappeared. 
You'll notice also that the lines between her brows, between her eyebrows, have disappeared and her forehead is consistently smooth. We're now just on three minutes after the application. Pauline's face is looking pretty good. She's looking a lot younger than she was when we first started. It's a painless method. It takes three minutes. It takes maybe a minute and a half to, to, to apply. You can localize it. Just do the areas you wish. And there's no harmful effects. It won't affect your skin. Uh, your skin will feel very beautiful, smooth afterwards. And you'll feel a, quite a tightening of your skin as you go. Now, Pauline's face at this point in time, it's the FL3 has completed its job and Pauline's face is looking considerably younger. We're going to, as I said before, give you a before and after shot taken from this video. There's no touch-ups, touch no nothing. Pauline's quite happy to move around. Her eyebrows aren't frozen. You see that she just raised one then. But she is looking so much younger. Stand by now for a before and after photograph.